Hey guys, welcome back to Beat Beauty. I have gone blonde for winter. It's really, really exciting. Um, I'm really enjoying having changed up my look a little bit. It's the first time I've ever gone blonde, but it has meant that I've had to change up my makeup regime quite a lot. And so in the last week since I dyed my hair, I've been playing with all of my makeup and trying to work out what's gonna look great during the winter time with the blonde hair. So I thought I'd bring you a tutorial demonstrating all my tips and tricks on how to do your makeup if you too are blonde for winter. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with prepping the skin with a little bit of primer. I've already got a moisturizer on my skin, but I'm gonna start with a beautiful primer by Amazing Cosmetics. This is their Rose Primer, and it's designed to highlight and illuminate the skin. You can actually use this under your makeup, and you can also use it over the makeup as more like a highlighting product. So it's a real multitasker, which I love. I'm gonna apply this one using a sponge, and this is my new little favorite. It's the Silly Sponge by New You. And it's a silicone sponge. They have these cute little faces on, and they're just really, really clever because they don't absorb your products, so your expensive products are not gonna get wasted. And they're also really hygienic, because you can easily wash them, they don't harbor any bacteria, so they're a really great little find. Plus, they feel amazing on the skin. So I'm just going to get a small amount of this onto my sponge and I'm just going to apply it all over the face. So just dot it all around the face and it's just going to give you a nice soft glowy undertone to the skin. Now that I've prepped the skin, I'm going to apply my foundation. Again, I'm going to use my lovely little silly sponge. So I'm going to be using the Pericone MD No Makeup Makeup Foundation. And this is the light shade. I love this one for an everyday look. It's perfect for a light coverage look and it also has a beautiful SPF 30 in there. So that is going to protect your skin while you're wearing it, which I just think is fantastic. So I'm just going to apply again the foundation onto the sponge and use it across the face. So similar kind of method of application. And then if you want a little more coverage you can layer. So I'm just going to get a little more product and just layer it where I need it. Often around the nose I need a little extra help sure you blend it into the neck as well. And then I will finish off just using my fingers just to really work any areas in that need extra blending. I tend to use a combination of a tool such as a sponge and my fingers because they're really the best for really getting the product into the skin. Okay, so now I'm going to work in a concealer just to really perfect the skin because that was a light coverage foundation. What I really love for an everyday look is to use a light coverage foundation and then work concealer wherever you need it. So you've still got that natural look going on. I am completely obsessed at the moment with the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. This little guy is water resistant, it's got a full coverage and you use just the tiniest amount and it really, really goes a long way. So I'm just gonna get a tiny amount on the back of my hand. Teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm gonna use a mirror to apply this just so that I really get the detail. So I'm gonna work it around the nose. And then I'm gonna do a little triangle shape under the eyes. This is actually something that they recommend to really cover the under eye area. This product also has some lovely de-puffing and hydrating ingredients such as cucumber, so it's a real winner. Um, and then maybe a little on the chin and get a little redness there. Any imperfections. It's amazing the level of coverage with such a tiny amount of product, so it's really gonna last you as well. Good investment. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers or you could use the sponge as well just a little on the lids just blend it out it's a little lighter than the foundation but I quite like that particularly under the eyes just to give you a bit more of a wide awake look and I'm gonna bronze up the whole face great 
much better. Okay, now I'm going to apply my powder. I'm going to use a large powder brush and I'm going to use this powder by Milani. It's called their Prep, Set and Glow. And this is a really lovely illuminating powder. So again, just working on the same theme of a really illuminated, dewy looking complexion. So I'm just going to get a little of the powder with a large powder brush and just work it into the nose, a little on forehead and then just under the eyes. Just set that lovely concealer. Maybe a little on the chin as well. I like to leave the cheek area unpowdered um, just to keep that really dewy look. Great. Now I'm going to work in a little definition to the face because it's just a real blank canvas at the moment. So I'm going to start with a little bit of soft contouring. And this is really, really key to this look because I want to do a really lovely bronzed look, um, which I think really complements the blonde hair, particularly in the winter, you may be a little pastier. So you want to really add in a little bit of extra colour onto the face. Uh, I know that I'm very pale in the winter, particularly when I'm back in London, so I really, really want to add in that bronze look. Very, very key. So I'm going to be using this little palette by NYX, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's called their Strobe Genius. And it's got an amazing array of colours. I don't know if you can see, you've got these lovely light shades that you can use all of those just to really, really strobe the skin. And these are a bit more of a soft focus. So I'm gonna really use these, but maybe a little touch of these in certain areas that I really want to highlight. So I'll start with this bronze shade. And I'm just gonna work that softly into the cheekbone. And I think you can immediately see that's a big difference. I'm going to work it up in a sort of E shape here. That E shape is just going to reflect where the sun would naturally hit your face. I think there's a definite move away as well at the moment from that really harsh contouring look. You want a really soft, subtle contour. So that's helped to add in a little colour. I'm going to add a little to the nose. I'll just keep working it in. Make sure you don't forget the neck as well. My body's always a little more tan than my face because I'm an SPF obsessive. Um, so work that in. Then I'm going to use one of the lighter shades here just to really add in some luminosity to the cheekbone to really make it pop. Great, and then I'm going to use one of these lovely coloured shades. I'm going to work that into certain areas with my fingers. So I'm going to work it onto the cupid's bow. You really only need a little bit. I'm going to do a tiny bit on the tip of the nose. And then I'm going to work a little into the inner corner of the eye. It's got a really beautiful light reflecting quality. And then just a little onto the brow bones as well. So I don't know if you can see, that's immediately just brought my face to life. Now I'm going to add a blush. And I'm going to be using another product by Milani. This is the Luminoso Baked Powder Blush and this is Rosa Romantica. And again, this is a lovely luminous shade. It's a sort of rose gold, which is the overall theme that I'm going with with this whole tutorial. So I'm just gonna get a little of the product. You, again, don't need very much of it. And I'm just going to put a little, just on the apples of the cheeks. Lovely. And just make sure you blend that in. Great, now we're ready to do the eyes and I'm gonna do a really beautiful rose gold look on the eyes as well. I'm using a Mineral Fusions palette. This is the rose gold palette. It has a really beautiful selection of shades. You've got a metallic sort of rose gold shade. You've got a light, very light pink and you've got a beautiful sort of espresso brown color here. So I'm gonna start with a larger 
eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use a mixture of the pale pink and the iridescent pink. I'm just going to use my little mirror so I can really see the details. So I'm just going to apply this across the entire lid. It's actually got really great pigment, this one. Especially considering this is a mineral line and it's really reasonably priced. So it's pretty impressive how much bang for your buck you get with this. Okay, so that's our first layer. Now I'm going to come back in using one of these stubby little brushes and I'm going to use the brown shade to really add in some definition to the eye. So I'm just going to get a little of the brown. I'm going to use my hand as a palette here because you really don't want too much. I just want to have a little product on my brush and then I'm just going to work that into the socket line here. And the key here is really blending. You want to just keep blending, blending, blending until you're satisfied that you've got a lovely soft blended look. And I'm going to apply a little under the eye as well. And that's going to really make the eyes pop. We're going to work in an eyeliner next, so there will be a little more to this look. So there you go. I think you can see a big difference here to here. And that's just adding the tiniest amount of brown shadow. It's just a really great way of making the eyes pop. And again, on the other eye. And I think using browns is a really good thing for blondes. I think rather than using harsh black shades, they can look great in the evening, but I think for the daytime, if you're blonde, it's really lovely to experiment with using brown eyeliners, brown eyeshadows, as opposed to black, which can just look a little bit too. And now I'm gonna work in brown eyeliner. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's by this company, Votre Vue, and it's in the shade Chablis. It's a beautiful metallic sort of brown shade and it has a gorgeous little smudging brush on the other end. It also comes with its own cute little sharpener so you can always make sure it's nice and sharp. Um, so I'm just gonna work a little of that onto the upper lash line. And it really glides on. And then just a tiny bit underneath as well. And then I'm going to use the smudging brush to blend that in. Now I'm going to use a different eyeliner. I'm going to use a nude eyeliner um, just on the waterline. Now this is a look that's really beautiful, particularly if you have blonde hair, I think. Um, it just really opens up the eyes. You can use a white pencil or a nude pencil. This is a little more subtle. Sometimes the white can look a little bit too obvious. So I really like a nude pencil. And this is the Scandalize Waterproof Coal by Oronel. So really reasonably priced and it's just going to make a big difference to the eye look. So I'm just going to work that into the waterline. A new pencil should have really helped to open up your eyes, but we haven't applied mascara yet. And I'm going to use one of my new favorites, which is by Meron Makeup. You might not be familiar with them. They're more of a stage makeup originally, but they have some really incredible products for every day as well. I've used them in the past for sort of really bold looks. They have incredible colors. They do amazing glitters, metallics. But this mascara was a real find. It's called their Brazen Mascara. And it comes in this adorable sort of little paint tube style of packaging. The brush is really beautifully designed as a kind of sort of conical shape. And it just really separates the lashes. It gives it a beautiful level of volume, but it doesn't cake. So it's great for every day. If you just want to have really long, volumized lashes that don't look too caked together, you're never going to get that spider lash look with this. Just work it through. And you really only need one coat, I think. And then just apply a little on the lower lashes. 
Now I'm just going to perfect the eye look by making the brows nice and groomed and I'm going to use the Giordana Fabi Brow. These gels are just great for keeping your eyebrows in place. Um, they don't add too much colour. They come in a variety of shades. This is the blonde one. I'm just going to work that through to lift the brows. I just want a really soft, subtle brow with this look. I don't want to pencil them in too much because I've already got quite dark eyebrows for a blonde. So I'm really kind of trying to like play them down as opposed to making them a really bold eyebrow. I also think that look is slightly going out of fashion, that really sort of sharpied on eyebrow. I really like that natural brow look. Finally, I'm gonna add a lip, and this is just a really simple lip, just to complement the eye look that we've created. And I'm gonna use the Mineral Fusions Lipstick Butter. And this is a beautiful sort of beige shade, it's called Luscious and it's just a lovely pinky beige. So really soft and subtle and it's going to make your lips look lovely and lustrous and moisturised. So I'm just going to apply that straight from the lip. And there you have it, that is my look for blondes for winter. Um, it's a really simple and easy makeup look, I hope you'll agree. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or you have any thoughts on great makeup looks for blondes in the winter time, then please get in touch, write a comment below or drop me an email. If you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check out my blog on beatbeauty.com. Until next time, thanks guys.